what's up guys today this is the finale in the my final thoughts on the kinetic 148 f18 a plus b cf and 188 um so this is the final model uh sorry for the mess i did not do anything on the outer wing pylons as you can see i just decided not to do it uh, so yeah, uh, first I wanted to start off with the instructions of the model, and uh, to be honest, this is a real downfall of the kit. Um, they're just not very clear on uh, what you do with some things. Uh, in particular, uh, some of the, the photo etch, um, it's just really hard. Alright, so like right here. On the weapons, uh, it tells you here's the Sniper XR pod and here's the um, AF, AAS uh, 38. So it tells you these are the brackets or the hard points which you mount to your model. Uh, you can look it up with photos, but it's not clear really. But it doesn't really tell you besides it goes on, on which hard point. It doesn't tell you really how to mount the bracket onto the model. Um, there's some other stuff like that uh, in this kit that weren't very good, and I believe if you were a beginner, that would be one of the harder um, points with this kit, because the model itself is not too difficult at all. There's nothing um, challenging about it at all that I think a beginner would have any problems with. The only part is the instructions. So let's actually get on to how the kit went together. You guys saw for the most part how it went together, but what you didn't see is the um, pilot I put in. Again, the seam line were bad, was bad on the canopy. So you can still see it here. Um, I'm trying to still work on it. Uh, I decided to paint the fuel tanks red. Um, uh, it's not accurate, but I, I like the way it looked. So I kept it. On the bottom here, we did very, like, very minimal weathering. Um, just because this is a, I believe this was a show plane at one point. Uh, yeah, the decals, nothing to complain with the decals at all. It would, went, all went together very well. The missiles as well, they went together well. Um, the plastic was very nice, nothing too brittle at all. Uh, what else can I really say about it? Um, so I used six, no, seven, sorry, seven different colors. I like the way the um, metal turned out right there. I used seven different colors to complete this model. Uh, you don't have to use the ones I did, but these are the ones that I think worked out pretty well. Um, I, had, I used XF Red for the tails in the uh, fuel tanks. XF uh, X black, X one black. Um, probably should have used XF for the black facing and stuff, but I didn't realize it. Uh, I used XF ten gunmetal. I uh, really liked that color. Uh, this was for the bottom color XF eighty. Almost out of that. Uh, this was for other bits of silver XF sixteen, and then XF two for the intakes, and then XF sixty six or the um, top. So yeah, I liked it a lot. But back, oh, sorry. But back to the model, the only thing I would not recommend is doing the landing gear base down. As you can kind of see right here and here, but you can really see it up in the front, right around here. It just did not go together very well. Um, it's probably on me as well. I could work with it a bit more but uh it just I couldn't really get it to uh do anything so yeah would I build this kit again uh 100% definitely yes, uh see you in the next build I'm thinking about doing another one of these um just a F18D uh it is in tiger meat markings um that's all I'm gonna say anyway. Days. I've been star of many plays. I've seen better days.